Welcome to North Star. Brook Company's management team is preparing a cash budget for the coming quarter. The following budgeted information is under review. January, February and March details are given. The company expects to collect 40% of its monthly sales in the month of sale and 60% in the following month. 50% of the inventory purchases are paid in the month of purchase and the balance 50% is paid in the following month. Payment for all other expenses are made in the month incurred. Brook forecasts the following accounts balance in the beginning of the quarter. Cash balance, accounts receivable and accounts payable balance are given. Given the above information, the projected ending cash balance for the month of February will be. This point is very important because it says for the month of February ending cash balance means this has to be a cumulative ending cash balance. If you have understood this, let's start with our calculation. Sales. Let's capture first the sales details. January month, February month and March month. How much is the total sales? 700,000, 800,000 and 500,000. Out of this total sales, 40% shall be collected in the month of sale itself and the balance 60% shall be collected one month subsequent to the month of sale. In other words, January 700,000, 40% shall be collected in the month of January only 280,000 and the balance will be collected in which month it will be collected in the month of February so 420,000 dollars shall be collected in the month of February for the January month sales similarly February month sales 800,000 into 40 percent shall be collected in the month of February only so this is our collection now let's look at purchases inventory purchase details are given let's capture purchases here so purchases for the month of january is 350000 for the month of february 425000 and for the month of march it is 225000 dollars 50% for the January purchases shall be paid in the month of January only. So out of 350,000, 175,000 shall be paid in the month of January only. And the balance 50% shall be paid in the month of February. So balance 175,000 shall be paid in the month of February. Similarly, 425,000, the purchases, 50% of it shall be paid in the month of purchase only which is February month so how much shall be paid in the month of February for purchases 212,000 plus 175,000 so total remember underline a line otherwise we may by mistake land up the first line also in our calculation 212,500 plus 175,000 total is 387,500 for January also, do we need to calculate payments? Answer is yes, we need to because we need to calculate the cash balance in the month end for February. So January payments also we need to calculate. How much is the payment that we have done here? This number for which purchases for the purchases made in the month of December. So we have to look here for December purchases. We have outstanding balance here 400,000. This is for the December purchase which shall be paid in the month of January. Yes. So 400,000 shall be paid in the month of January. How much is the total payment 575,000. In addition to this, we have to also make payment for other expenses. For other expenses, it is quite simple. 150,000 we have for the month of January shall be paid in the month of January itself. Similarly, 175,000 which is for the month of February which shall be paid in the month of February itself. Let's capture the total payments 575,000 plus 150,000. We get 725,000 dollars. This is our payments, so negative number. 
Similarly, here 387,500 plus 175,000, we get 562,500 total payments. So we have taken it as a negative number. Let's go up and find out. This number is missing. Is there any collection that we will do from the December month sales? Yes, December month sales 40% must have been collected in the month of December and the balance 60% shall be collected in the month of January. This balance 60% as on December ending records must be showing as accounts receivable balance in the balance sheet. How much is that balance? 300,000 is the balance. So this 300,000 which is for the December month sales shall be collected in the month of January. So we have got the total collections for January and February. How much? 280,000 plus 300,000. 580,000. Similarly for February month 320,000 plus 420,740,000. 000. You can do it cumulatively January and February month together or you can show it month wise. It is up to you. Let's do it together because that will be a little shortcut. 740,000 plus 580,000. We have 1,320,000 dollars. This is our total collection. With this, we will add up our cash balance. What is the opening cash balance? How much? 200,000 is the opening cash balance. So we get how much? 1 million 520 thousand dollars from this we will subtract all our payments let's club the payments also here 725 thousand plus 562 thousand 500 it is total is how much 1 million 287 thousand 500 dollars so 1 million 287 thousand 500 dollars this is the negative so minus 1,520,000 dollars, we get 232,500. 232,500 dollars. Let's look at options. So option C, 232,500 dollars is the correct answer. If you want to do it monthly also, you can do it in that case. Let's do it once. So 580,000 is there. I will change the ink color so that we can show it as monthly also. 580,000 is shown. In that we are going to add the opening cash balance 200,000. So total becomes 580,000 plus 200,000. It becomes 780,000 dollars. With this we are going to subtract the payments for the month of January 725,000. So $725,000. How much do we get? $55,000. This $55,000 will become the opening cash balance here. This is opening cash or opening balance. So total becomes $740,000 plus $55,000. It becomes $795,000. Out of this, how much is the total payments? 562,500. Remember, we have calculated here 562,500 dollars. So let's take it up minus 562,500 dollars. This is the total payments. So 562,500 minus we get 232,500 dollars. This is the balance as on the end of February. So like this also you can solve this question. Thank you.